What's well, everybody? My name is Scott Waters. Welcome to the Life Metal. It's time for part two of my Rock Metal Update. <laughs> <laughs> part two of my seven inch update that I started a week or so ago maybe I don't know when I posted it I'm doing them right one after the other so maybe I'll get them both at the same time I don't know probably not <laughs> all right continuing on with the Japanese singles this is from the very first Angel album this is Rock and Rollers um, backed with uh, Marina I believe yeah I can't see anything on the front where it says the name but regardless Japanese single uh, Castle Black the label interesting sleeve that it came in. I was told this is the original sleeve that it was sold in. I don't know for a fact. There's no Casablanca logo on it, anywhere on here, but it is a distribution company and it's got tons of other labels on there, so interesting nonetheless and picked it up for not too much, so you know, I'm not going to complain. Alright, some uh, metal, Some this is actually some newer releases. Some of these I might have shown before in different videos, but I'm going to show them again here. This is a brand new release from Nine Years Denied. Um, this is uh, Obsession and pl uh, Payday, uh, and this is actually a new band, but features um, a guy who you might know, Rob Rock, on vocals on the A side, and then it's got Stacy Roberts uh, um, on vocals on the B side. Stacy Roberts from uh, I keep wanting to say Fear Not, but not Fear Not. It's The Brave, and then uh, it's also got Rex Carroll playing guitar solos on the B side. So really good power metal, um, heavy metal. Really enjoyed this single. Picked it up from SoundMass.com if anybody's interested. So, prog rock, this is very Dream Theater-ish sounding stuff. This is After Winter, and this is Light Displaces Darkness, backed with Under Fire. Um, like I said, very Dream Theater-ish, a little bit Fates Warning-ish. Um, really killer musicianship. Uh, really enjoyed this single. Picked this one up from um, rocksrecords.com. Next two are part of a series of four that are coming out from this band, uh, Thrash Band called uh, Ritual Servant and uh, this first one was called Veritas and this is the actual print on black vinyl there's the front and the back but here's the second one and it, you'll when you get all four of them it'll make the entire album cover so you can see half the cover there but this one here is called um, Misericordia I don't know if I'm saying that right or not doesn't matter but the back side is uh, whitewashed tombs and two masters uh, this is actually a test pressing of the set of the second single of the four and the single's not out yet but I got a test pressing of it so really cool so if you're looking for the, either one of those this one is, is for sale right now for I, I think like ten dollars on uh, rocksrecords.com this one should be up for sale soon on rocksrecords.com too all right uh, moving away from the thrash and metal to rainbow this is um, Street of Dreams backed with uh, anybody there this one is UK or German, I can't remember now. Uh, I think it's UK. So, picture sleeve, always looking for rainbow and deep purple and Dio and anything of those related. <laughs> so, uh, this next one is um, Japanese singer single for Since You've Been Gone and I can't remember what the B side was in on this one. And, I don't, oh, Bad Girls, it is listed. A little type on the bottom. Featuring, uh, of course, uh, uh, Graham Bonnet on vocals. This is also Rainbow. This is All Night Long, backed with Weisheim, Japanese single. Actually, ran into two copies of this. Seller had two. I bought them both. They're both in great condition. Um, I'm keeping this one. They didn't really make a difference. They're both almost identical in condition. And then uh, the other one's going to a friend of mine who also collects singles. I was looking again for the singer's name. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure it was, I thought it was Graham Bonnet, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I should look these things up before I do videos, but I just didn't. All right. <laughs> I know who the singer is in this one. Deep Purple. It says the Mach 3 era Deep Purple. So you've got David Coverdale and Glenn Hughes sharing vocal duties. Um, and the itty bitty little type says Lady Devil Dealer and uh, you can't be, you can't do it right with the one you love. You can't do it right with the one you love. Deep Purple, another Japanese single. Again, I, they're like 
Deep Purple were kind of like Aerosmith and uh, <coughs> excuse me and Ted Nugent and Thin Lizzy. It's one of those bands I collect anything by, um, especially um, the you know Ian Gillan stuff. I, I, I love it all. I like David Coverdale. I like them all. So <laughs> whatever. Uh, another Deep Purple one. This is uh, from the House of um, House of Blue Light and Call the Wild on the B side. Blackmore, Gilman, and Glover composition. Polydor label, Polydor Japanese sleeve, Polydor release. Baron Bonnet. Still bugging me. I can't remember if that's the right singer for that song or not. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, this is Queen, Save Me. Great song from Queen. Back with Sure Heart Attack. Another great song from Queen. This is on the Electra label. This is um, obviously another Japanese pressing. Genesis. I think this never came in a sleeve. I think it was always in a white sleeve like this when it was sold. But um, this is a single for I Know What You Like in Your Wardrobe. It's a great prog song um, from, I think it's 73. Backed with uh, Twilight Alden House. Excuse me. Twilight Al House. I don't know why I put a D in there. More Genesis, one of my favorite Genesis albums, Duke, Misunderstanding, great song, it was a huge radio hit, I like it a lot, back to Behind the Lines, a very proggy song from them. UK picture sleeve single for Genesis 3x3, this is actually the front of the single here, which doesn't even have the band name on it, but it's huge on the back, and it's got, um, excuse me, it's got Paper Late, you might recall, and Me and, Vi me and Virgil as the three tracks on here. All tracks by Banks, Collins, and Rutherford. Genesis. Uh, another Genesis, this is uh, Paper Late, backed with Turn It On Again Live. This is a white label promo single. US pressing. Staying kind of with the Genesis theme, although not Genesis. This is Peter Gabriel. And this is... Um, Dang it. I have to open it up and look. Don't you hate when they don't put the name on the front? Salisbury Hill and um, Morbond the Burgermeister. Burgermeister Meister Burger. Uh, I love early Peter, Peter Gabriel, especially like the first three albums. I just think they're brilliant. Peter Gabriel 3 is one of my all-time favorite albums. I listen to that album all the time. I have the U.S. version and this, the version sung in German, and I listen to them both. But uh, this is actually from, I believe, the first album. And then this is DIY, Do You Eat Yourself, Back With Perspective, um, on the Charisma label, Purple label, UK pressing, Picture Sleeve. This one I grabbed because I bought them from the same guy I bought those ones from, and I didn't have this particular version of it. This is Shock the Monkey, backed with Soft Dog. This is a uh, obviously one of his more poppy songs, but I still like this track as well. One more from Peter Gabriel. This is Shock the Monkey, another huge track for him. Um, backed with Soft Dog as well. This is just a normal U.S. pressing in the in the old Geffen's sleeve. Uh, this is. This has got to be like 1972, maybe 73. This is Yes, Your Move in the original Atlantic sleeve, backed with Clack. So I think it's 73. This is Yes, Wondrous Stories, back, uh, actually it's Yes, Wondrous Stories um, promotional version. So you've got the white and red side and then the blue side, mono and stereo in the original uh, Atlantic Acto sleeve. This is Don't Kill the Whale. And let me see if I can find out where this one was printed at. I think it's a Spain press. I'm pretty sure it's a Spain pressing. Uh, anyhow, Don't Kill the Whale, picture sleeve from Tormato, backed with um, Abilene, which is a non-album track from the Tormato Sessions. I love Tormato. I know it's not a fan favorite, but I love it. So uh, This is Owner of a Lonely Heart. <clears throat> Backed with our song, uh, Japanese pressing. I probably have ten different versions of this song. Uh, I, I like this the, this popular radio style stuff with Trevor Raven on guitar. Um, 
I just like most of the S, but I, I can't say I like it as much as their more uh, progressive stuff they did in the 70s. But regardless, it's still yes, I still enjoy it. All right, so we got a Nazareth single here. Um, I'm trying to remember what city or what country this was from. I don't remember, and I don't see it on here. I just know it wasn't Germany or the UK. So regardless, this is uh, May the Sunshine backed with um, Expect No Mercy from the Expect No Mercy album um, with the awesome close-up of the belt buckle from the front cover of that album. I love that. I love the artwork for this for the Expect No Mercy album. So really cool single to have. All right, two from Joe Perry Project. Oddly enough, one of these is going to a friend of mine. I just got to figure out which sleeve I want. <laughs> That's the deal. So this is a um, Canadian promotional pressing um, for Joe Perry Project. Uh, Let the music do the talking. Back with Bone to Bone. And it did come in a sleeve like this, or did it come in a sleeve like this? Both current Canadian sleeves, both Columbia or CBS. I mean, I just cannot find online which is the proper sleeve that this belongs to. I think it's this one, which is the Columbia sleeve. It is Canadian. However, I, when I was searching online, I've seen copies that were in the same CBS sleeve. Maybe they're in both. I don't know. I mean, these, these things were printed in mass, these sleeves were. So who knows? They could have put some in here and some in here, you know. Uh, regardless, white label promo, promo Canadian pressing of the Joe Perry Project. Not something you see very often in the United States, at least I don't. So I was glad to grab those two. And of course, you got to have some Aerosmith if you're going to you know, watch a 7-inch video for me. It's Japanese pressing of Toys R, Toys R Us. <laughs> Toys R Us. Toys in the Attic, backed with... Um, uh, what was on the B-side? Sweet Emotion. Obviously from 1970... Um, 75 from the Toys in the, Toys in the Attic album. And this is a Spain pressing of El Ultimo Nino. Back to this combination. CBS label from Spain. Um, combination obviously being Combination from the Rocks album. I'll show you the back cover. And then El Ultimo Nino. <laughs> My Spanish isn't so good, but I tried. So, very cool. I always like to find this, this the Spanish singles where they have the songs in, in you know, the, the native Spanish language. They're just, they're just kind of exotic and unique for me because I, I don't even speak that language. I wish I did because <clears throat> I live in New Mexico and there's a lot of Spanish speaking people here. So, very cool. All right, got uh, several singles here. This, this is actually the end of the pile, so I'm doing pretty good in this video. All right, I'm gonna go quickly, but this is an EP. This thing has been released in all different countries, different covers. It's a four-track EP from April Wine. It's got some of their great 70s material in here. So you've got uh, Rock and Roll is a Vicious Game, Before the Dawn, and Roller, and I Like to Rock. All great songs from Canada's April Wine. Early single. I should have put the dang year on here, but I, of course I didn't. Um, I think it's this 1972, but uh, cover a bad side of the moon on the A side, backed with Believe in Me on the B side. Yeah, Elton John, of course. This is you could have been a you could have been a uh, you could have been a lady backed with Teacher from April Wine. Obviously, somebody wrote in huge letters on the white to be generic sleeve. Apparently this record company didn't have sleeves. They always came with just generic sleeves. So it's kind of cool that someone put it on there. It's probably like a DJ or you know a radio station or something like that that would have written that on their big like that. And this is a US pressing of Roller backed with Write It Down. To, and this is actually came from the same seller and as you can see it's got the thing written on there. But it also had the original sleeve, the original capital sleeve in there too. So very cool. Write Down to it and Roller. All right, this last batch, um, nope, one more, and then we got the last batch. Um, this is Mama, We're All Crazy Now from the Mama's Boy from Ireland, 1983, I think it was. Um, backed with uh, Face to Face. I, I'm just, I've been a Mama's Boy's fan forever. I kind of stumbled upon one of their albums back in the day, you know, in a record store. Just had a cool cover, I bought it, and 
been a fan ever since and I really thought they were a unique band. Uh, it's too bad they weren't well known, didn't make it a little bigger. All right, the rest are all from the same band and I'm gonna crank through them. Mostly Japanese pressings from the classic Grand Funk. I mean, seeing stuff from their very first couple albums is very rare. So this is 1970. Um, this is uh, Heartbreaker and uh, Mr. Limousine Driver. And this is one of the ones I did remember to put the ear on, see, so I didn't have to stumble around looking for it. <laughs> this is also 1971. This is um, People That Stopped the War. And then we've got um, Sin's A Good Man's Brother and Heartbreaker and Inside Looking Out. Japanese single from 1971. One of their big poppy hits on this one. This is The Locomotion. Back with Losing, 1974. Another one from their, from their early albums. This is actually from, I believe, their first album. It's 1969. This is um, Inside Looking Out, back with Paranoid. It's a great rock and roll shot there on the front. And the last one is an American single, and this is 1973. This is uh, Walk Like a Man, back with The Railroad from Grand Funk Railroad. So really cool singles from Grand Funk. Uh, that's it. Under 20 minutes. <laughs> I rocked it. That's a lot of singles. So I just showed you a lot of singles in two videos. Really appreciate everybody who sits through these and watches them. Uh, I just kind of a geek for this kind of stuff and love sharing with my with my friends, which I consider you guys my friends. So I appreciate you watching. And uh, leave a message below and let me know what you think. That's it. God bless. Stay strong. <laughs>